Hi everybody, it's Dave here, Holiday for Two, and I hope you're having a great day and a great week. And this video is called RV Tips for Beginner RVers, those who are getting started in RVing and camping. You know, when my wife and I started out camping years ago when our kids were little, we started basic with tents and sleeping bags. And we just kind of worked our way up from there. These are five tips for beginner RVers who are just thinking about getting into camping and RVing. So get your notepad and pencil ready. And get out and enjoy the great outdoors. It's a beautiful world out there. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. Hey everyone, it's Dave here with Holiday for Two. If you are just starting out and you have the desire to get out and enjoy nature, finding just the right camping or RV setup for you and your family can be a daunting task to say the least. Should I get a tent? Should I rent a trailer perhaps? Or maybe I should invest in a camper van? Or buy a motorhome? And if I get a trailer, what do I pull it with? Will my car or SUV be enough? Or should I look for a larger vehicle with more power? Like I said, it can be overwhelming. You want so badly to get out and enjoy time with your family and the great outdoors, but just where do you start? So, I put together a list of five basic planning tips that I hope will help you if you are one of those who is just beginning to go down the road in your RV journey. Number one, make a list of things you like to do outdoors. Do you want to go camp and sleep outdoors? Do you like to go hiking, biking perhaps, or swimming, kayaking, or maybe you already have some off-road bikes or ATVs that you want to get out and enjoy? Number two, who will you be enjoying this RV journey with? Will it be just you by yourself or a significant other? Will children be involved in this as well? You will want to sit down and get an idea first before you start making any purchases. Number three, budget yourself. This is important. Sit down with a pen and notepad and do some number crunching and get an idea of just how much you can afford or want to spend to get started. Remember, you don't need to spend a fortune to get started in RV. Number four, start small. Keep it simple. Begin with what you have now to work with and go from there. A tent is a fine place to start. I've made many wonderful outdoor memories camping with my family and friends in a tent. And five, essentials only at first. Plan for food, water, shelter, bedding, like sleeping bags, cameras, and of course, phone chargers. A good ice chest are usually the first needed items to purchase, and your initial investment should not break the bank. $300 to $500 total should get you started nicely. Shop at places like Target, Walmart, or even Amazon for some of these items. Or even better, look around at thrift stores and yard sales for many of these huge bargains. Sometimes people will be getting rid of things that they no longer want, and you can pick them up at huge bargains. So let's stop there for now. And again, keep it simple. Spending time outdoors, no matter what it is you're doing, is a great way to build memories that will last a lifetime. Have fun and see you on the road.